Come on, Jim, tell us, how are they coping without us back home? Yeah, yeah. come on, Jim. Right. Um, hot, hot summer. In Trafalgar Square, the girls are dipping their feet in the fountains. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I reckon the crowds still invade. No one talks about it out loud. We know Hitler's got a fleet in the channel. They say we'll stand firm, so... I guess we will. What's the best picture to take your girl to, lad? Since when have you had a girl? Hey, I've got a million buck up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? I'm a right heartbreaker, me. Jimmy Stewart falls in love with Catherine Hepburn. Class. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember the title. I heard there's no custard powder. I've got to deal with a big ball of birds right now. I could just do it with a couple of birds. <laughs> kind of mild. Oh, yeah. Yorkshire pudding with onion gravy. <laughs> Treacle tart for afters. <laughs> Hitler has only got one ball. ball. The yeah. other is in the Albert Hall. And some is in the... And no balls, and no balls at all. Hitler has only got one ball. The other is in the Albert Hall. And Hitler has something similar. And no balls, and no balls at all. Look, I think there may be a safe way to play this. This plan's been thought through. I want you to hear me out. The delivery truck comes every two days, yeah? yeah. I could knack at the front axle. You still go in with the bedding, but three miles down the road, the wheel falls off. And when they're fixing it, that's when you escape. And what if it breaks down in the middle of town? Or at a checkpoint? Now, the dump site's the best place. I can catch a train. Why are you there? No, I miss. Being curled up with my missus in front of the fire. That's what gets me every night. I'll try and get some sleep. Sam. Yeah? Don't worry. We've it all worked out. Good night. Good night. His wife's dying. They've only had a week together since they were married. Atticum's sending him home to be with her. Look, you've got to rethink this plan. <laughs> I've seen that incinerator in action. I've seen it. I've had work details out there for weeks. They say the incinerator's never lit. Well, that's rubbish because it was burning. Fluke. Can I at least talk to Atticum about no, that? No, I'm bloody telling you. We know what the goons are going to do. They're so predictable. That makes it easier for us. As soon as driver thinks it's serious enough, they'll strip the infected bedding and Shanklin gets carried out with it. It's a good plan. You stay out of it or you'll find yourself up on a charge. Understood? I'm trying to save a man's life here. And I'll report you myself. Arkham says he's going to talk to his wife. Yeah, it's going to be this bad. Enough's enough. The fleas are probably from the rats or the moggies we've got hanging around the place. Moggies? Cats. Moggies, yes. <laughs> Commandant, the outbreak is severe and I'm worried it'll spread to the other huts. If that happens, I'll be submitting a complaint to the protecting power. Will you please have the bedding removed from hut two? No. Another laundry service, Captain. Tell you men to wash their bedding more thoroughly. I supply the brushes. They can scrub the inside of the barrels.
Good job. Sir, I think there's something you should know. I'm not sure how much more slack I should be cutting you. You've been spreading dissent. I see that as a potential court martial offence. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but your plan is in danger of going belly up. The Germans won't move the belly, and those blokes in Hut 2 are fit to throttle Shankly. Of course it's tough. This isn't bloody scout camp. It was at that rubbish site, sir. I've yes, seen... Yes, yes, I heard it all from Pritchard. Drew Pritchard's been to see you. It's been made very clear to me that you've been shooting your mouth off, Cadden, but you don't know everything. We were destroying linen from the local hospital. There's been a small outbreak of TB in Kesterberg. Sacks were marked with skulls, yes? So, our intelligence isn't that shoddy, is it? They won't burn the sheets, they're only fleas. But you can see my point. I see that you think you can run this camp better than me. Now shut up and understand that this mission is far more important than you realise. Why? Come here. We're not in some far-flung gulag. Ordinary life goes on just beyond this fence. The railway to the coast is only six miles from here, or one could hike west and be in France in three days. All just beyond that wire. Now, how does a man live with that without going mad? I'll tell you. He adopts hope. Shanklin will make it, and thus is the message made clear. One day, we will all make it. It's Besirunk! Pritchard. What's all this? You're a sod, Karen. I think you've done me an injury. Painful business being the grass. Hey, you bloody are here. I always think you know better, don't you? Can we uh, lay this one to rest, lads? Only would you up at the big house soon. Let's see we have a truce, eh? Hmm. What are we doing out there anyway? We well, are going to be waitresses at a party. <laughs> We're going to be what? And don't forget to clean under your fingernails. You know what the crowds are like if you think you're bringing in dirt. <laughs> Poor fleas. Barry, you're a genius. I know. Why? Well, if the fleas spread to the goons, they'll clear it out too. How are the goons going to get fleas? I'll see you at the gate, yeah? Yeah. Don't be late or they'll have your balls. <laughs> 